A magnitude 5.6 earthquake has struck northeastern Japan, jolting an area devastated by last year's disaster. That's the strongest quake to hit the region since last April. The quake occurred at 4.05 a.m. on Thursday local time. In Sendai and Minami Sandiku in Miyagi Prefecture, it measured 5 plus on the Japanese scale of 7. The epicenter was located in the Pacific Ocean at a depth of 60 kilometers. There are no reports of major damage or injuries so far. Tokyo Electric Power Company is reporting no new problems at the disabled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Japan's meteorological agency plans to install three tsunami sensors on the Pacific seabed. Agency chiefs hope to speed up their ability to detect tsunami after earthquakes. Engineers will install the sensors around October. They'll place them about 300 kilometers off the coast of northeastern Japan. The sensors measure changes in hydraulic pressure. They then send data to satellites via buoys on the sea surface. The monitors are designed to detect tsunami about 10 minutes after an earthquake. That's 10 to 20 minutes faster than current systems such as GPS-based wave monitors and coastal tide observatories. We hope the new monitors will allow more time for people to evacuate. The meteorological agency initially underestimated the size of the tsunami that would strike after last year's March 11th earthquake. No shit. Highly trained, well skilled on these. Yes. So let's start off with a nuclear power reactor operator. Now that sounds like you've got to be trained. Me. Definitely, definitely. You can get a median pay, average pay of $103,000 wow. a year, but up to $142,000 for the top 10% in that field. And you just need a high school diploma, strictly speaking. Now, I talked to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. They said, Keep in mind, there's very specialized training that's needed here. You need to have at least three years of service just at the power plant where you intend to work. Wow. You're going to have to go through an exam that's administered by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. They're the ones that offer the operating licenses. And there's extensive training while you're on the job as well to make sure you're still up to speed on right. those skills. I would imagine also background checks in this background important checks, job. Background checks, drug testing, right. alcohol testing, medical exams, and of course, again, getting your license every six years or so, making sure that you're up to date. Okay. Now onto the global warming front in what could be the smoking gun proving the planet is rapidly changing as a result of climate change, sea ice in the Arctic Ocean is now sitting at its lowest recorded level ever, breaking a previous record set in 2007. Here's what the ice over the Arctic Ocean looked like in 1979. And this is what it looks like now, just 32 years later. And with a few weeks still left in the summer, the ice is expected to melt even further. According to researchers at the University of Colorado at Boulder, the melting ice is, quote, a strong signal of long-term global warming, end quote. And according to climate scientist Michael Mann, the director of the Earth, science, uh, Earth Systems Science Center at Penn State, the sea ice decline is perhaps the most profound of those cautionary tales because the models have basically predicted that we shouldn't see what we're seeing now for several decades. So not only is climate change happening, it's happening faster than we all thought. Something tells me you won't hear about this tonight at the RNC. After all, the Koch brothers are hanging around. Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda has taken another hit. Upper House opposition parties have passed a censure motion against him. This means they've practically paralyzed the government. Noda could be forced to quit or call a general election. 
Note his opponents say he's incapable of handling domestic and foreign affairs. Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda keeps ignoring the people's voices. He bears a heavy responsibility. We strongly call for soul-searching and condemn those who submitted this motion, which is highly partisan and irrational. The motion is not legally binding, but it means the opposition will block all bills in the upper house. I insist Prime Minister Noda dissolves the lower house as soon as possible to ensure sound political management. However, Noda is expected to ignore calls to dissolve the lower house to make way for an election. But his time is limited. The government's money could start running out this autumn if it doesn't get help from the opposition. NHK World Senior Political Commentator Masayo Nakajima came by the studio earlier to give us some insight on what this motion means for Japan. He has followed the Prime Minister for years. Masaya, what mm -hmm. prompted opposition parties to submit this motion? Well, they're blaming the government for escalating tensions in territorial disputes with South Korea and China. Uh, they say Nuda's weakness allowed the South Korean president to visit Takeshima, the islands controlled by South Korea and uh, uh, cl claimed by Japan. And opposition members say that the same weakness allowed Hong Kong activists uh, to land on one of the Senkaku Islands, which are controlled by Japan. Opposition politicians say Noda should have used diplomacy to prevent the landings. So how has the Noda administration reacted? Well, members of uh, Noda's own Democratic Party say that uh, the motion will weaken the leadership of this country and send a wrong message diplomatically. They also say that there are a lot of domestic issues to solve and the opposition party, parties should be uh, helping. Um, how do you think this will affect uh, the Japanese people? Well, the opposition parties are refusing to join deliberations in the Diet and they control the upper house. So that effectively shuts down the workings of parliament. Ministers want to introduce measures to help low-income earners cope with the consumption tax hike. They want to reform the electoral system so that there are a similar number of voters in each riding or uh, constituency. And they want to pass bills to enact the budget. If they can't, that could cripple public services. So, you know, a lot of Japanese people are criticizing that uh, those parties are just playing political games mm. at the expense of people's lives. How will all of this affect Prime Minister Noda? You know, the censure is not binding. So the Prime Minister does not have to respond. But it, it gives the opposition grounds to boycott Parliament. If the government cannot enact the budget, Noda will be forced to resign or call a general election. Remember, Noda's public approval rating is approaching a record low. So he'll be keen to delay the election for as long as possible. But the motion makes it clear this time that Prime Minister Noda will have to make a decision sometime this fall.